guys, it's Anna Lee. I'm here to do a quick haul. I think Jesse's gonna jump in here at some point because he did get a few things too, maybe just one little thing. So keep an eye out for him somewhere around this video. All right guys, so if you checked out our previous vlog, which we'll link down below and also at the end credit of this video, you will know that we checked out the new stores in Fig and 7th in downtown LA. We went to the H&M store and also the new Mac store. And I must say the H&M store there is freaking amazing like it's so clean and it's so open and it makes the whole shopping experience so much more enjoyable i haven't been really going to h&m or like wanting to buy anything from h&m for quite some time just because it's so cluttered and just like so overpacked with so oh bless you mookie I haven't been enjoying going to H&M and purchasing anything from them recently because everything is so overpacked with clothes that it doesn't make shopping enjoyable for me. And I'm very happy to say that I have fallen in love with H&M again. So let's show you what I got in this bag. It's actually empty. I just wanted to show you their new bags. It's kind of awesome. It's recyclable and it's brown and paper and kind of good. So they're all about saving the environment now, I guess. Or maybe it's just in California because... The law. It's the law. <laughs> so let me show you what I got. So, okay, the first item that I picked up is this bandage skirt, which is kind of awesome. It's navy and white. It's very, very, very cute and pretty. And it made me, when I tried it on in the dressing room, it made me fall in love with bandage skirts again. I used to wear them all the time. I don't know why I stopped. I know my husband is like all about it. He loves like short little things on me. So I got this for me and for him. Uh, this was priced at $34.95. It's a little bit pricey for a skirt, but it's thick and it seems like it's pretty good quality, so I ended up getting it. And it looked really good on my body, so I had to. The next item I am going to show you is these shorts. I already have a pair of these. Um, I have them in gray and they're very comfortable and they're cool just to lounge around. I've actually worn it to go out, but simplified and kind of dressed more, dressed it up a little bit. So you could go very lazy with it or you could go stylish with it as well. They are these gym shorts. I got them in what is this, blue? <laughs> like kind of like a denim looking, I guess, wash. And this was $12.95. The next item I am going to show you is this. I saw this on the mannequin and I totally fell in love with it and I was like, Jesse, I need this. So what a great husband, he found it for me and it was the last pair, so kind of excited. It's this, it looks like a skirt, but they're actually shorts. And they have a nice pleat to it if you guys can't see. $24.95. This is something I would pair with a t-shirt with and my Birkenstocks, which I had tried on in the dressing room and I really liked it. So you could dress it down, you could dress it up. The next item I am going to show you are these gym shorts, but they're like, I don't know, they're very thin and flimsy, which is kind of cool. They kind of remind me of these shorts from one teaspoon, but at the fraction of a cost. And this was priced at $9.95. And here too, as I said, you could dress this up, you could dress it down. I had a t-shirt on when I went shopping that day in my Birkenstocks and they look great. What's cool about this, when I had it on, it had a really, really high slit. So it was pretty sexy too. The next item I'm going to show you is something that I would have overlooked in a messy store. But like I said, it wasn't messy. So I was able to like take my time and actually go through things and enjoy myself. It's this dress. It goes all the way down to, I want to say my mid calf. Very fitting and very pretty. Very simple and chic. Like I said, you could wear this dressed up. You could wear it dressed down. It has an unfinished neckline and also unfinished on the sleeves. But the way it's cut is freaking awesome. It makes, it hugs you at the right places. And this was only $24. Can you believe that? $24 for this dress. Okay, the last item I'm going to show you is something that I spotted while I was in line to check out. And, you know, get it, ended up spotting it. I was like, oh, I gotta try it on. It looks really cute. It looks very casual and just kind of... I'm, I'm really liking my, like, mid-length dresses right now. I have, I have been for quite some time. But, like, I wanted... I saw it and I was like, oh, let's just try it. So I went and grabbed my size. I wish I got a small size smaller and this is the reason why I'm wishing I did because when I tried it on I was like oh my god it's so cute like super cute but then I looked at it I looked at the tag and I said mama so I'm assuming mama means 
the maternity line, which I did not even know H&M carried. But hey, whatever. It was still cute. So I guess I could eat as much as I want and not worry about my belly showing. So whatever. It kind of works both ways. So this is the dress that I did get. It's just this like, like, I don't even know. It's a form-fitting dress, but not necessarily really too form-fitting on me. It goes all the way down to my mid-calf, and it does like this whole ruching on the side, which kind of makes sense because like where it's all lined up is where the belly is supposed to be like kind of camouflage is what I'm assuming for pregnant ladies out there. It was very flattering, so I was just like, I'm gonna get it, I don't care. So I ended up buying it, and then I was like, it's a little bit too big, but then I'm like, oh hey, it feels good on the body, so why not? So ended up getting that. I'm wearing a maternity dress when I'm not even pregnant, but whatever. <laughs> I guess he has one item here, so he's gonna jump in right now. Hi. <laughs> uh, okay, so I just got this denim shirt, which is pretty nice. It's a lighter colored denim, which I you don't never have. really wear. Yeah, and yeah. it's just short sleeve. It'll be good for the summer and have nice buttons, you know. That whole deal. It's nice and slimly cut, which is nice. Usually H&M is pretty good for that kind of stuff. And that's all I got there. How much uh, was that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Breaking the hall rules here. Uh, $24.95. We're not really, we don't have rules, but sometimes we say the price, sometimes we don't. Sometimes Just we remember, remember, sometimes we forget, yeah. yeah. And so. <laughs> while Anna was still shopping at H&M, I actually got one more thing, but it's not here. It was this. A cupcake. <laughs> Do you take a photo of it? I'll find a stock photo of it. Oh, cupcake. oops. From Sprinkles. <laughs> From Sprinkles. It was delicious. It was vanilla with Sprinkles. So. Yay. And then while, after Anna was done there, she went to the Mac store. Yeah, I knew that they came out with the new Should watch. Should I, like, disappear again? Okay. Okay, I knew that Mac came out with the new waterproof eyebrow. Dealy Majilis. I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> but like, so I went to the Mac store. I was like, oh, let's try it out. I ended up grabbing two, well, a couple of things. I grabbed the, a MAC Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream in Dirty Blonde. And if you guys know or have asked me on comments like how I do my eyebrows, and I've answered quite a few of those questions, you guys know that I like to layer a couple of items to make my eyebrows look very natural. I do not have these on right now. Um, I have my, my Anastasia stuff on my eyebrows and my Makeup Forever stuff. I, don't, I just don't use a pencil, basically. But summer's coming, and I always like trying out new eyebrow products just because I have a, I, you guys know, I don't really have any eyebrows. I have to work for them. And I wanna make sure, especially around my tail area, it doesn't rub off throughout the day. And especially when summer's coming, it gets hot, your hair's in your face, or sweat comes down. You wanna make sure it stays on there and stays put. So I wanted to check out this new product from MAC. It's called the MAC Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream. And this is in Dirty Blonde. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe we'll do it up close, maybe not. I don't know. It all depends on Jesse's, if Jesse wants to or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got this the, in Dirty Blonde. The next item I got is also in the Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream, and this is in Redhead. I'm not quite sure which one I'm gonna be using yet. I haven't really, s I've swatched it on my hand and I couldn't figure out which one I wanted, so I ended up just getting both. So, you know. They had another color that was available and it was more of the darker, I guess you could say more brown, more brunette color. And on my skin, on my hair tone right now, I think that'd be a little too harsh. So I didn't get it and I didn't really have a choice of not getting it because they were out of stock. <laughs> And when I did swatch these in my hands, it was very hard to come off. Even when I used the, their makeup remover, it took a few like wipes before it actually disappeared. And then the next item I got from MAC is also the Pearl Longwear Waterproof Brow Set in Toasted Blonde. I'm very excited about this because I love eyebrow stuff. And this is the color. And the guy at the MAC counter was like, oh, this is perfect for you, so. If he says it's perfect for me, then it's perfect for me. So I can't wait to try these out. I will let you guys know hopefully how this works. I don't really do reviews, but I'll talk about it at some point in a vlog or whatever to keep you guys updated. So watch your vlogs. Hope you guys enjoyed this little haul for y'all. You all? You all? No. Oh. Okay, now I'm just being a nerd. But yeah, I hope you guys totally enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.